Oh, hey, didn't see you there. How's it going? Good morning, day two, Tuesday morning. Head to the gym again. Again, why do you need to go two days in a row? I thought it was like a one time a week thing. An old bodybuilder once said that. I think his name was Rich Piana. He said, just get a big Monday pump and then you're good for the week. But um, yeah, we're gonna try to go twice in a row. Pulling up and we are parking. So like I said, I'm Jared Hara, the blind people watcher. Like and subscribe, really appreciate you. Hit the bell for notifications. And we will see you in the side. Well, 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 we are in the car, just leaving the gym. We somewhat made it through. We were uh, instructed to do a barbell back squat step ups onto a bench, 20 or 20 total, 10 a, 10 a leg. And uh, with 85 pounds on the bar on your back and you're stepping up to a bench. And uh, Jason, a guy who I work out with, uh, warned Jonathan about, Jonathan's my trainer, he warned Jonathan about uh, three weeks ago, he was like, dude, you're gonna have the blind guy step up onto this bench with, with weights in his hands? Like, he's gonna bust his ass, he's gonna, he's gonna hurt himself. He was right. I don't like to give anybody credit when they're right for obstacles in my way, but life is about overcoming obstacles. And uh, this bench, I was on my second set, I knew David was filming me. I was trying to, trying to look cool. There was a seminar taking place in, uh, like on the turf about 30 yards to the right of me. And I think I just wanted to show these people that uh, why not to come to Spectrum because you will end up with a barbell hitting you in the back of the head. Like, like the barbell's laying some ground and pound down on you and you're ready for Herb Dean to step in and stop the fight. But um, yeah, I busted my shins open, busted my nose a little bit. Thank God that's happened to me at least 50 times this year. So my nose is ready to go for blows. And um, yeah, it, uh, the, the real thing was just the, the blow to the back of the head because I was a little dizzy. But who knows if that was from the bar or from the workout that I was already doing because I mean, we were doing chin ups with a three second hold at the top, these barbell step ups. It was, um, it was a doozy, but I don't know. Everybody was really nice checking on me, making sure I was okay. And I just kept going. And I think that's the, the win of the day is not letting a little slip and fall stop you from finishing your sets because that was only my first set. I had at least a 45 minute workout ahead of me that I had to get through to, like I said, the if you don't start your day with a good hard struggle, a bar to the back of your head, how are you gonna overcome the next obstacle that hits you? So we got this one out of the way. Tuesday in the bag, Tuesday in the books, like and subscribe.
Thank you for watching the Blind People Watcher. Please make sure your foot is planted when ever doing barbell step ups. Just a word of advice from the Blind People Watcher. See you next time.